Peace to the family, peace to the family. It is I, it is me, Brother DSP, your friendly neighborhood media personality and your friendly neighborhood rabbit. Welcome to Onslaught Multimedia and welcome to Onslaught Multimedia 2. If you're on Onslaught Multimedia, please be sure to subscribe to Onslaught Multimedia 2 because I drop content on there on the daily. Um, Onslaught Multimedia, it's more or less um, more erratic posts, but I do post content on there and I'd probably have most of my live streams on there as well as and, and on um, Onslaught Multimedia 2 as well. So that's that's the channel. Onslaught Multimedia is going to be more like the backup channel to Onslaught Multimedia 2, which is backwards. But if you guys know the story, you already know why it's it, it's set up that way. But today, um, I just wanted to address a comment that I had gotten um, not too long ago in regards to this series that I'm doing about uh, Brother Sanchez and his philosophy on race. Um, I believe it was a sister from England. Um this is not me coming at her in any way. I don't. Y'all know how I give it up. I really don't get at women on here, like, and in, in that, in that capacity. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be sitting here disrespecting her. But what she said um, made me think, right? And she was like, "Oh, let's not." Um, I'm paraphrasing. Let's not shit on Brother Sanchez and the work that he has done. Me personally, I don't know Brother Sanchez. Um, I'm not attacking Brother Sanchez. Um, I don't know of any of the work that he did prior, but I know what he's spewing in this, his philosophy on race, is dangerous. Um, it's shrouded in scientific racism, right? And I'm going to show that because, yeah, I can sit here and play the um, video over, um, but I do want y'all to see why this triggered me so much. Not only because I'm a dark-skinned brother, but also that I know about scientific racism, it was probably one of the things I studied the hardest because a lot of people spew many of the pseudoscience that's um, incorporated with race. So I want to cover that. And that's just me telling her, no, I'm not here attacking Brother Sanchez. If anything, I'm attacking the information that he's putting out there. So uh, let's get back into this. And man, I'm just going to say it's a trigger warning, y'all. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? So enjoy to be faster than this snake what you think that the, that gazelle mama gonna tell it it's gonna tell you baby you gotta outrun that cheetah what you think the slave mama gonna tell him baby you got to outrun these goddamn house niggas in massa because i know you said you want to escape this plantation but once you take off running you better run like you never ran before because if they catch you with them dogs and they catch up to you they ain't going to shoot you with the rifle. They're going to torture you in front of everybody. They're going to cut your balls off, burn you alive. They're going to torture you and make you die slow for trying to break away, son. So you better run fast, boy. You better run fast. We was living this way for over 400 years, and you want to know why we the fastest people today. You want to know, it, it's a fucking no-brainer why, why we the fastest people today. We done the most running for the most longest periods. We had to be the fastest. Now, what I'm giving you is nasty because it want to be. It's fast because it has to be. Look, you do prove me wrong. You go and do your research on animals. Look up all the fast animals and see what's hunting them. Look at they predator. I bet you every fast animal you see got a damn fast predator running behind it. It got to be fast. This is science. Or you can go with religion, which says... We God's chosen people and God made us faster. Then you ain't no different than a Christian. That's religion. That's pseudoscience. A sky daddy made you fast. You out the goddamn projects. Fool. I give his ass this speed back to get out of these projects, nigga. I'll be the slowest motherfucker on earth to get out these projects kind of God is that? That's pseudoscience.
So this ain't going to be too long. I want to read some to you. Don't you know that melanin, this is according to science. Let's talk about melanin. Melanin is produced as a response to UV radiation in order to prevent damage to the DNA in the integument. <laughs> Listen, individuals who are exposed to UV light, such as the sun, will produce more melanin for protection. So when you read about the origin of humanity, they say we come from black people. But what you got to realize is that to blacken the skin through exposure to UV radiation is a, it's a timely process. Meaning that the sun give off UV radiation. And that UV radiation is like a slow burning process. So white people get sunburned. And what this is saying is that if, they, if white people were to continue to get tans and get sunburned for so many years, they'll turn black. That's what we're reading. Now, this is fucking stupid. Now, what you got to realize is that the blackening of the skin by exposure to UV radiation is something that takes place over years, according to science. And this is a form of evolution and Darwinism. This is what you got to realize. The sun is giving off UV radi radiation. A white person can walk out in the sun right now and they're not going to turn black. They're not supposed to turn black because if you read the science, it teaches you that uh, uh, over time, Meaning that as white people keep living under the sun, they're going to eventually turn black. They're, they're basically going to adapt to the burn and their sun is going to develop a response called melanin. Read it. Melanin is, is not a chemical, folks. I want you to realize what I'm telling you. This is according to the people that invented the word. Melanin is a response to UV radiation. It's a skin, re your skin is responding to fiber, meaning it's this right here. If I give you a white sheet of paper and tell you to burn in it, and I tell you to burn that paper, and then I ask you, why is it turning black? You can say that's a response to me burning the paper. I'm going to need critical thinkers right now. I'm going to need critical thinkers. Melanin is the same thing, yo. It's the darkening of the skin by a slow burning process. And that burning is coming from the UV rays, which are flames of fire. Basically flames of fire, man. That's burning you right now under the sun. Everything is being burned under the sun, right, as a slow burning process. And they're saying here that melanin is, it, melanin, is a response that the skin does in reaction to that UV radiation. Just like the paper going to turn black as it reacts to the fire. It's a chemical reaction. And the byproduct is this blackening, blackening phenomenon, right? And science used this to explain how black people became black. But what black people is forgetting is this. They say you became black, which means that the first humans would have been white. Remember, if we're going to use this theory that we got black under the sun over time, then that means we started off white. And it was a timely process, meaning we was the first white people and we was getting sunburned at first. But we adapted to it, and the response over time was melanin. This means that the first humans were white, if you want to use this theory, because this blackening process by being exposed to UV radiation is a process that takes place over years and years. So the first humans couldn't have speeded that process up 
if you mm. say black, which means that the first humans would have been white. They say you became black, which means that the first humans would have been white. They say you became black, which means that the first humans would have been white. And the byproduct is this blackening, blackening phenomena, right? And science used this to explain how black people became black. But what black people is forgetting is this. They say you became black. That melanin is it, melanin is a response that the skin does. That melanin is it, melanin. That melanin is it, melanin is a response that the skin does. And the byproduct is this blackening, blackening phenomena, right? And science used this to explain that melanin is it, melanin. That melanin is it, melanin <laughs> is a response that the skin does in reaction to that action. And the byproduct is this blackening, blackening phenomenon, right? And science used this to explain how black people became black. But what black people is forgetting is this. They say you became black, which means that the first humans would have been white. Remember, if we're going to use the texture of the, of the hair that God pleased, that God gave them, so much that they'll put lie on it. <laughs> Do you realize now, you know, brother, lie will eat a hole in steel and you know your head is not that hard. you please who taught you to hate the texture of your hair who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet who taught you to hate your own kind who taught you to hate the race that you belong to so much so that you don't want to be around each other. No, before you come asking Mr. Muhammad, does he teach hate, you should ask who yourself who taught you to hate being what God gave you.